VAR records of Arsenal v Manchester United match announced. Undoubtedly, referee Anthony Taylor's decisions in the Arsenal v Manchester United match were much discussed. The biggest mistake of Anthony Taylor, who is thought to have made the wrong decision in many positions, is thought to be the position of Rasmus Hodgland and Gabriel. After the match, Ten Hag also revealed that Anthony Taylor made many mistakes. However, according to today's claim of the Sun newspaper, VAR records of the Arsenal-Manchester United match have been reached. According to the Sun newspaper, in the fight between Rasmus Hodgland and Gabriel inside the penalty area, the VAR referee tells Anthony Taylor to analyze the position on the screen. However, Anthony Taylor said he had seen the position up close and would not go for a review. The VAR referee said he should review the position a second time. Arsenal's Gabriel Rasmus fouled Hodgland, but Anthony Taylor said he would not go for a second review. This position actually changed the course of the match and caused Manchester United to lose. According to the news, Manchester United management is preparing to file a complaint against referee Anthony Taylor. Went against us, Eric Ten Hag laments clear referee errors in Manchester United's loss versus Arsenal. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag was left fuming with three important referee decisions that went against his team in a shocking 3-1 loss to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. United's loss in the game was unfortunate, considering they deserved to come away with at least a draw. The majority of their players put in commendable performances, but their defenders failed to hold the composer at the end. Ten Hag blamed United's loss on several poor refereeing decisions that took away any chance to grab a point at the death. The Dutch boss voiced his frustration regarding Garnacho's offside goal and highlighted a potential foul by Gabriel on debutant Rasmus Hodgland in the penalty area, which VAR reviewed. He also claimed that Johnny Evans was fouled before Rice scored the winning goal through a corner kick. The Red Devils fans would be frustrated by the final result, as it looked as if their team would be able to grab a draw if not a win. Andre Onana comes out of retirement for Cameroon return. Manchester United goalkeeper Andre Onana has come out of retirement to join up with the Cameroon national team. Cameroon take on Burundi in their Africa Cup of Nations qualifier and like Onana will be involved. The 27-year-old announced his retirement from international football last December after a fallout with head coach Rigobert Song. It is believed Onana had doubts over returning when he was initially called up to the Cameroon squad, however, he has released a public statement explaining his decision to return. Onana has not played for Cameroon since the opening game of the 2022 World Cup against Switzerland. After being left out of the second match against Serbia, he eventually flew home. A huge talent, Arsenal manager praises Manchester United's Rasmus Hodgland. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta praises Manchester United striker Rasmus Hodgland ahead of the blockbuster Sunday clash. Arsenal's manager, Mikel Arteta, has praised Manchester United striker Rasmus Hodgland as an exceptional talent ahead of their upcoming Premier League clash at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. The Danish striker, who recently joined the Red Devils from Atlanta for a £75 million fee, has been unable to make his debut for the club due to a back injury sustained during preseason. Following a week of training, the 20 year old ace is expected to be part of the lineup against the Gunners. During his press conference, Arteta described Hodgland as an immensely talented player. The Spanish manager also mentioned that there is considerable buzz surrounding the striker, but he will need to prove himself in the competitive English Premier League. United's manager, Eric Ten Hag, has already stated that the former Atlanta star is fit and ready to participate in the weekend match. The Dutch boss might opt to use the Dane in the starting 11, but he could consider substituting him around the one-hour mark due to fitness concerns.
The Red Devils need to score more goals, and how wonderful it would be to see their new signing open his goal-scoring account in his debut game. Eric Ten Hag provides injury update on Lisandro Martinez and Victor Lindelof after Arsenal game. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has provided an injury update on Lisandro Martinez and Victor Lindelof following the 3 1 Premier League defeat at Arsenal. The Red Devils suffered a disappointing loss to the Gunners on the road, but there were other concerns with Martinez and Lindelof substituted during the game. Martinez asked to be replaced after the hour mark following a clumsy foul on Edin Kedia. The Argentine appeared to have picked up an injury in the process. Meanwhile, Lindelof was brought off six minutes from time, the Swede could not carry on which forced the manager to bring on Johnny Evans for his second debut. Speaking after the game, Ten Hag clarified that Lindelof was ill and had to come off. When pressed on Martinez, the Dutch tactician added that the Argentine had a problem on his foot and the exact nature of the concern will need to be diagnosed. United have had an early season injury crisis, they are already without Rafael Verani, Mason Mount, Luke Shaw, Kabi Mainu, Ahmad Diallo, Tyrell Malaysia, and Tom Heaton. The fans will be relieved that Lindelof was only substituted due to an illness. We should know more about Martinez's condition from the club in the next 24 hours or so. Hopefully, the World Cup winner has suffered nothing serious and will be available for the club when they entertain Brighton and Hove Albion after the internationals. 19-year-old man United right-back joins Spanish second division club. Manchester United starlet Mark Gerrado completes a switch to La Liga 2 side Espanyol on a permanent move. As revealed by the club's official website, Manchester United have confirmed the departure of Spanish defender Mark Gerrado to Espanyol in a permanent transfer this summer. The 19-year-old joined the Red Devils from Barcelona in 2020 but did not have the opportunity to make an official appearance for the first team. Gerardo made it to the match day squad for the senior team for the first time when they faced Nottingham Forest in April last season, and he also participated in the preseason tour of the United States this summer, playing a part in the game against Wrexham. Lisandro Martinez set for international duty despite being forced off against Arsenal. Lisandro Martinez is going on international duty. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag revealed after Sunday's 3-1 defeat against Arsenal that he was not unaware of the extent of the injury that led to Martinez coming off after 67 minutes.